Either Bilbo Baggins stayed in this room before me, or they knew that I was a woman staying by myself and I needed a survival weapon. Alright, so this is the start of my momcation that I've been waiting for for so long. Um, but before I go anywhere, I have to go get some supplies and what's better than going without your kids to Target? So that's where we are. So I'm settled in my room and it took me a really long time to get here because the traffic was just crazy. It's now, uh, what time is it? It's now about 6.20. Uh, I have unpacked everything and I've opened the windows because it's actually really hot. I'm trying to debate now if I'm gonna go for a walk or if I'm gonna go get something to eat because I am kind of hungry. But I'm gonna take a look at the amenities map. I did book myself in for two spa treatments tomorrow at two o'clock. I have to figure out where the gym is because I really want to do that before I go to the spa. So this is the room. So I got a, I believe this room is a deluxe king, but it's really nice. And I had read that there was a K-cup machine here, so <laughs> I brought my own stuff. But this is the view. It's absolutely beautiful here. And the weather is like absolutely perfect it's a little mini fridge where oh that could have ended so poorly and just a little vanity it's really a cute room it's kind of hot in here though because it wasn't supposed to be a million degrees today but my room came with its own little hiking and walking stick. So I've got just where all the food is and then this is the property map where everything is and then this is the trail map which is kind of cool because they have different hiking trails mapped out and it's like easy, moderate, difficult. So I am hoping the bar has some interesting cocktails so I can get some inspiration but we'll see. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go get ready and either go for a walk or go to dinner. We'll see how it happens. Good morning, it is Saturday. I actually ended up going to bed at 9 p.m. Which sounds ridiculous, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna stay up, I'm gonna watch Netflix. No, 9 p.m., passed out. Um, I was just really tired, and I woke up at 6.30, and then I managed to fall back asleep 
and wake up around 8. So I'm going to go get ready now and eat some breakfast. And then hopefully I will be hitting the gym. I just finished a workout. I did about five and three quarter miles and a little bit of weights and I got myself an ice cream tea and now I think I'm going to read a little bit and then get ready to go to my spa appointment this afternoon. I am getting a collagen facial and a seasonal dry wrap, whatever that is. I will let you know. I picked the things that I had never done before. so. So I did not take any pictures or video while I was at the spa because it was very clear that we were all supposed to be quiet. So I didn't take anything on. I just left my phone in my locker so I didn't have any pictures or video of the experience. But I got a seasonal dry wrap which I honestly wasn't sure what to expect. It's kind of like dry brushing but they used like exfoliation gloves. And they will go over your entire body and then you get to choose what like essential oil that they put in the lotion and then you basically get like a light Swedish massage with the lotion and oil that you chose and then they basically wrap you up like a piece of sushi and it was really nice but I think I like lost a pound sweating because it was like very hot between the blanket and the aluminum foil wrap so i did really enjoy it and then i had the collagen facial after i have had facials before my girl pam that i usually go to hopefully between like every four to six months this was quite different than the one she usually does but i do feel very hydrated and i feel like my skin does look really good so even though it was different i really did like it um i just got out feeling like super <laughs> hydrated in my skin but dehydrated because it was just so hot between the ta the table the the wrap and then i had the steam on like the whole time so when i got out i was like i need water immediately but i feel really good now it's still early it's only about four o'clock so i think i'm just going to chill for a little bit and then probably go get dinner and a cocktail so i just finished reading cat and nat's new book mom truths i just plowed through it it was hilarious and really good and i have decided that i am going to do a review and a giveaway of the book because i think other moms could totally benefit from reading that book so so i'm dressed i'm gonna go eat dinner really quick didn't feel like doing my hair because i'm pretty sure there's like spa oil in it but whatever there's no one here to impress, is there? So mom vacation is pretty much over. I went and got breakfast this morning at the same buffet place that I had it yesterday and I packed up my stuff and I'm probably gonna head out. I might not go home, I might go shopping. It is St. Patrick's Day so I'm wearing green and I'm gonna go home to my family. It was a really fun weekend. If you have not done a mom's vacation ever, I highly recommend going away for two or three days and getting a little bit of a break. So. That was a lot of fun.